The study of ecosystems. Welcome to our video on ecology, the study of ecosystems. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of ecology and learn about the complex relationships between living organisms and their environment. The video opens with a beautiful aerial shot of a forest, followed by a close-up of various plants and animals in their natural habitat. Ecology is the study of how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. It is a broad field that encompasses everything from the smallest microorganisms to the largest ecosystems. The video shows various ecosystems, such as forests, oceans, deserts, and grasslands, highlighting the diversity of life on our planet. The study of ecology is crucial for understanding the impact of human activities on the environment and for developing strategies to protect and conserve our natural resources. The video shows examples of human activities that have had a negative impact on the environment, such as deforestation, pollution, and climate change. In this video, we will explore the fundamental concepts of ecology, including the different levels of organization, the flow of energy and matter, and the interactions between living organisms. The video shows various diagrams and illustrations to explain the concepts of ecology, such as food chains, energy pyramids, and nutrient cycles. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of ecology and learn about the intricate web of life that surrounds us. The study of ecosystems. In ecology, we often talk about different levels of organization, which help us understand how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. The video shows a diagram of the levels of organization, starting from the smallest unit of life, the cell, to the largest, the biosphere. The first level of organization is the individual organism, which is a single living entity that can carry out all the functions of life. The video shows examples of individual organisms, such as a lion, a tree, and a bacterium. The next level of organization is the population, which is a group of individuals of the same species living in the same area. The video shows examples of populations, such as the herd of elephants, a school of fish, and a colony of ants. The third level of organization is the community, which is a group of populations living and interacting with each other in the same area. The video shows examples of communities, such as a coral reef, a rainforest, and a grassland. The fourth level of organization is the ecosystem, which is a community of living organisms interacting with each other and the non-living environment. The video shows examples of ecosystems, such as a freshwater lake, a desert, and a tundra. The fifth and final level of organization is the biosphere, which is the sum of all the ecosystems on Earth. The video shows a globe with different ecosystems highlighted, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all living organisms on our planet. Understanding the different levels of organization is crucial for studying ecology as it helps us understand how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. The video shows a summary of the different levels of organization emphasizing their importance in ecology. In our next segment, we will explore the flow of energy and matter in ecosystems. The study of ecosystems. In ecology, the flow of energy and matter is a fundamental concept that helps us understand how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. The video shows a diagram of the flow of energy and matter in an ecosystem, starting from the sun and ending with decomposers. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms on Earth. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants and other photosynthetic organisms convert sunlight into chemical energy. The video shows examples of photosynthetic organisms, such as plants, algae, and cyanobacteria. This chemical energy is then passed on to other organisms through a series of feeding relationships. The video shows examples of feeding relationships, such as herbivores eating plants, carnivores eating herbivores, and decomposers breaking down dead organic matter. As energy is passed from one organism to another, some of it is lost as heat, and some of it is used for growth and reproduction. The video shows an energy pyramid, which illustrates the decrease in available energy as you move up the food chain. Matter, on the other hand, is recycled in ecosystems through biogeochemical cycles. The video shows examples of biogeochemical cycles, such as the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, and the water cycle. These cycles involve the movement of matter between living organisms, the atmosphere, and the Earth's crust. The video shows diagrams of the different biogeochemical cycles, emphasizing the importance of each cycle in maintaining the balance of nutrients in ecosystems. Understanding the flow of energy and matter in ecosystems is crucial for studying ecology, as it helps us understand how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. The video shows a summary of the flow of energy and matter in ecosystems, emphasizing their importance in ecology. In the next segment, we will explore the interactions between living organisms. The study of ecosystems. In ecology, the interactions between living organisms are complex and varied, ranging from competition to cooperation. The video shows examples of different interactions between living organisms, such as predation, symbiosis, and competition. 
Predation is an interaction in which one organism, the predator, kills and eats another organism, the prey. The video shows examples of predators and prey, such as a lion hunting a gazelle, a hawk catching a mouse, and a spider trapping a fly. Symbiosis is an interaction in which two or more species live together in a close relationship. The video shows examples of symbiotic relationships, such as mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship in which both species benefit from the interaction. The video shows examples of mutualistic relationships, such as bees pollinating flowers, ants protecting aphids, and bacteria living in the human gut. Commensalism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species benefits from the interaction, while the other is neither helped nor harmed. The video shows examples of commensalistic relationships, such as barnacles living on whales, remoras hitching a ride on sharks, and birds nesting in trees. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species benefits from the interaction, while the other is harmed. The video shows examples of parasitic relationships such as ticks feeding on blood, tapeworms living in the intestines of animals, and mistletoe growing on trees. Competition is an interaction in which two or more species compete for the same resources, such as food, water, or territory. The video shows examples of competition between living organisms, such as lions fighting over a kill, plants competing for sunlight, and birds fighting over nesting sites. Understanding the interactions between living organisms is crucial for studying ecology, as it helps us understand how living organisms interact with each other and their environment. The video shows a summary of the different interactions between living organisms, emphasizing their importance in ecology. In the final segment, we will explore the impact of human activities and the environment. The study of ecosystems. Human activities have had a significant impact on the environment, affecting the balance of ecosystems and the survival of many species. The video shows examples of human activities that have had a negative impact on the environment, such as deforestation, pollution, and climate change. Deforestation is the clearing of forests for human activities, such as agriculture, logging, and urbanization. The video shows examples of deforestation, such as the Amazon rainforest, highlighting the loss of habitat for many species and the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Pollution is the release of harmful substances into the environment, such as chemicals, plastics, and greenhouse gases. The video shows examples of pollution, such as oil spills, plastic waste in the ocean, and air pollution from factories and vehicles. Climate change is the long-term alteration of global weather patterns caused by the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The video shows examples of climate change, such as melting glaciers, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events. These human activities have had a negative impact on the environment, leading to the loss of biodiversity, the degradation of ecosystems, and the disruption of natural processes. The video shows examples of the impact of human activities on the environment, such as the decline of species, the loss of habitat, and the destruction of natural resources. However, there are ways to mitigate the impact of human activities on the environment, such as conservation, restoration, and sustainable development. The video shows examples of conservation and restoration efforts, such as reforestation, wildlife conservation, and habitat restoration. Sustainable development is a way of using natural resources in a way that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The video shows examples of sustainable development, such as renewable energy, ecotourism, and green technologies. Understanding the impact of human activities and the environment is crucial for studying ecology, as it helps us develop strategies to protect and conserve our natural resources. The video shows a summary of the impact of human activities and the environment, emphasizing the importance of conservation and sustainable development. Thank you for watching our video on ecology, the study of ecosystems. We hope you have gained a better understanding of the fascinating world of ecology and the importance of protecting our natural resources.